It is Scrapped Off Bonsai. Today I'm going to talk about a style of photography that is very interesting to me. I see this more and more as I go through my old photos to push stuff to Instagram. I've been going chronologically through my old stuff and I see all of these types and styles of photography that kind of jog my mind of what I was really interested in and what I kind of naturally seem to focus on or do at the time. So this style is more detail oriented. It's a little abstract at times, but basically taking a piece of a larger subject, focusing on that, looking for more types of shapes, colors, anything that really piques my interest at the time. Some of them are kind of a macro level of photography. Some of them are not even close, basically normal lenses and things of that nature where there is still quite a bit of the subject in focus. You can see but still a piece of a larger subject. For example, one situation, I was taking photos of bleachers where people sit to watch sports games outside, and just one area focus on the shapes, I focus on the continuous lines of that subject. And of course you have the simple subjects like flowers, leaves. Take a piece of that, you don't want the whole thing. You want to focus on the most interesting piece for you at the time kind of feeling based but also structural at the same time. It doesn't have to be structural, it can be random like paint dabs around from an area that had a lot of graffiti and things of that nature. I find a large area and then I just take a little piece of it that really piques my interest. Lens wise, wide angle kind of is a little challenging with this style unless it focuses really close but normal lenses, telephoto lenses work really well with this style of photography. You can go completely abstract where the subject is extremely difficult to know just by seeing that little piece but you can also stand back a little bit and just take a section where that section is the most interesting to you but still people can understand what it is they're seeing. In this area it's been snowing a lot and it's very cold but I did go out for a really quick photo outing with two different cell phones. My main cell phone and then a cell phone to record me taking photos. So with the main cell phone you can use an open camera application. I'm going to put a link in the description you can check out. It's a really nice application for taking photos. It has a lot more features usually than the standard application in the phone. So I was able to enable DNG RAW with the phone that gives you more options in post. But basically, use my main phone to take the photos. I don't think anything was really super interesting in the situation. I was trudging around through really deep snow, a little playground area, just the first place that I saw driving around. And it worked decently well, but again, the photos are not super exciting. The main thing is to practice a lot, get an eye for little details of larger areas. Of course, with the phones, you might not be able to focus as close as you want, and it is usually a wide-angle lens on a phone like this. It really depends on your phone, but in my case, it's relatively wide. And you can buy little lenses to get a more macro perspective. I wasn't doing that at the time, but maybe in the future, I'll try something like that. The point is you can go almost anywhere with this style of photography and make it work well. Focus on those details, pick out areas that really feel interesting to you. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Scott from Photography Bonsai. If you did enjoy the video, please consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot. Likes and shares help out a lot as well. Thanks again.